All right. Hey again, everyone. Craig Galbraith, Editorial Director with Channel Futures, back with another edition of Channel Futures TV. And we have a great chance today to talk with Bruce Locke. Bruce is president of Success Computing Consulting, an IT consulting firm based in the Twin Cities. Bruce, how are you? I'm doing really well. And for those who don't know the Twin Cities, it's Minneapolis and St. Paul, home of the Timberwolves, who are in the semifinals of the NBA for the first time in 20 years. There you go. Who would have thought, right? Who would have thought? Uh, all right, Bruce. So as long as we're talking uh, regionally, you guys are, are a big partner of Ingram Micro. I want to make that point uh, right off the bat. But with a sole focus in the Twin Cities, how do you keep the community continually engaged there? So, so Craig, first, let me give you a perspective. Um, we've been in business for 31 years. Um, in the last 10 years, we've grown to about 24 million all organically in the Twin Cities. And in terms of the, the um, community, we go way back. We go to the early days of HTG, Heartland Technology Group, uh, the peer group that now is known as Evolve. In fact, at one time, both the owner and our business development vice president facilitated their own groups in HTG. So we we're very active in the early days of the MSP becoming the industry it is today. Uh, about 2013, before I came in, we, we left HTG, but rejoined uh, a peer group, Ingram Micro's Masterminds, in fact. We joined in 2014. We've been a member ever since. We've been in that same group ever since. And with that um, experience, I've also had the honor over the past two plus years, I've been part of the Trust Excellence Advisory Council. Of course, that's kind of focused on helping Ingram Micro and the channel engage um, both up and down the, the supply chain, but also within the channel itself. So I've got to see the insides of of how the community itself is trying to elevate itself and, and help all parts of the channel get better and grow a, a, as one. Uh, and then inside that channel, we are really engaged with our vendor partners. I won't name them because it applies to any vendor partner, um, but we engage with their events. We actually, we speak at their events. There's a number of my executive team and I, we We'll talk on technology and business practice topics within the channel. So we engage directly with our vendors. So we try and bring what we believe is goodness into the channel, and we like to share that. And then at the personal level, over the past couple of years, actually, we've been coaching, I'd say, somewhere between seven and 10 other MSPs in their initial journey to implement what's known as theory of constraints, which is an alternative business execution model. So we actually get down to the personal level where we find people that are interested in, in trying to do better with their with their business, so to speak. Not so much the technology, but being good at, at uh, leading their businesses. So at every level of the community, we're active and we have been ever since uh, really this industry has started. Very cool. Very cool. So I want to talk a little bit about Xvantage, uh, the Ingram Micro platform. We've heard so much about it over the past a year, maybe two years. How has being an Ingram Micro Xvantage beta user influenced the success that you've had? Well, there's a couple of ways. And first, I, I, we were honored. Actually, we begged to be part of the beta program because I, I was I was excited to what I anticipated Xvantage to become. So uh, the first benefit to us as a company was... Uh, not just to see what a good digital platform looks like, but to see firsthand how to bring this capability to market, um, something at this scale, how to bring it to market in an effective way. And that's a really big deal for us because several years ago, we started to develop what we consider a true product management position, how to bring new offerings, new capabilities to market and do it well, do it as well as any company. And of course, being part and parcel of that with Ingram Micro was really beneficial. It was almost priceless to see, you know, the strategic side of it and then the technical side of it and see the iteration of it coming to market. Uh, secondly, and this, this isn't something I anticipated, but as part of trust, the Trusted X Advisory Council, in one of the meetings, Jennifer Anaya, she's the CMO at Ingram Micro, she, me she mentioned how Xvantage and then later X Expand were part of the initiative to build a digital twin for the business. And in that conversation, it dawned on me that we could, we had most of the piece parts in success to build a digital twin, not just for success, but if you would, a generic MSP, we could digitize every aspect of our operation. We've been doing that ever since. And I think once we're complete, that's going to give us an advantage for us going to market, just like I think advantage gives Ingram Micro when they go to market. So I, 
I thought that experience was phenomenal. It not only, we again, see how good platforms and capabilities come to market that, so we can try to replicate that, but then see how to digitize a business and, and make it allow us to do things with less friction, if you will, to get to market faster, do the things we want to do faster. So it was, it was priceless. It was, it was so worth the, the uh, effort that we put into it. And again, we were honored to be part of that beta program. Now, Bruce, if it wouldn't be 2024, if I didn't ask you about AI, so uh, I know we can make a, a bit of a link there between Xvantage and AI. How has uh, Xvantage directly helped you with your AI business goals? So, you know, AI is, first of all, we don't know exactly what AI is going to do for us, but certainly in, in Xvantage and the, the, you know, looking at our technical stack and how we apply that to our clients and making the right recommendation. So just something as simple as to have a recommendation engine, you know, we think we can dot every I and cross every T and get the right card and the right RAM and all this, but to have that AI capability in front of Xvantage allows us to do things faster, higher quality, less errors, less rework, uh, better experience for us, better experience for our clients, uh, bring things to market faster. I, uh, you know, that's one of the true use cases right now for AI is to take out some of that workload uh, that could take days, literally, to configure the right solutions and, and have a better relationship with the whole channel, bring the right things to market at the right time for the right reasons. Excellent. So let's talk a little bit about Ingram Micro events. I know the big uh, Ingram Micro One is coming up in November, I believe, uh, in suburban Washington, D.C. I'm curious how One and some of the other Ingram events have helped uh, with building your business community. Uh, so, Craig, you know, we when we go to an event, Ingram Micro, any other event, but especially Ingram Micro, we go with a purpose. We, we literally target some question or so, some initiative that we want more insight in and we'll bring a, re a good representation across our business to that event it won't just be technologists it won't just be salespeople. it'll be literally the across the full spectrum of our business and and we'll immerse ourselves in the topic of the day if you will and and and, and i think in terms of technology waves it wasn't that long ago the big talk was around private cloud and the push to build out your own cloud and then it wasn't long before we we're talking security and now it's ai and and we use those events like ingram micro one to get immersed so you get the keynotes you get the breakouts you get the vendors you just literally have access to the the best and the brightest and the current thinking and and what we'll do is we'll we'll go with a purpose out into those events and we'll gather data we'll meet the right people we'll we'll get the insights we think we need and at lunch and at dinner we'll reconvene and we will dump our data we'll share across those functional areas of the business knowing what's left to be covered and what's left available to us at the the event we go forth again and we just iterate that throughout the event until by the end of the event we can come back with a informed thesis if you will on what we believe we can do with whether it's ai it was uh, private cloud or, or security at the time so we use these events to uh, formulate our tactical and strategic directions and then engage and meet the people we need in the channel to help us achieve those tactical and strategic um, initiatives into some of those events myself they're they're really good ones that anger micro puts on bruce thanks for your time today on channel futures tv great catching up learning a little more about ingram micro your relationship with them and uh, particularly your own business the aptly named success appreciate your time greg appreciate the opportunity